everyone. Today we're going to study everyone's second best or favorite predator, of course, Dustin McFetridge. Now, did you know that Dustin McFetridge is a grandmaster predator? I'm going to show you he does something that I don't believe any other predator has done before. This guy is so cautious and he's so good. I'm going to show you what he does. It's pretty funny. Send me a pair of your panties. Of course, we already know he wanted uh, some panties that she had been wearing. But did you know how he wanted her to send it? How do I do that? In regular mail. Dustin McFetridge wanted the girl to send panties through the mail to, to him. Like, in regular mail. I don't have your handy. Can you get a Ziploc bag and a tip envelope and two stamp? Yeah, probably without them knowing it. <laughs> you fucking pervert. Then he says, I just want something personal of yours that smells like you. <laughs> I can try. Pick a pair you want me to have and wear there for two or th three days straight. That's the part they read on the show. But when you read what <laughs> That happens before. It's so much funnier. And that's his way to make sure that she's talking, that he's talking to a real guy, you know? That, that No, that he's talking to a real girl, sorry. That he's not talking to a decoy. You know, if she, if she sends panties and they're used, I guess. And you can check, I don't know, you can check, check the size of the underwear and that's going to prove that there's a young teenager. Uh, and even the decoy, like she plays, I don't know what age, I think 13, 15. She says, that'd be gross wearing the same underwear for three days. <laughs> then he says, how about two days? <laughs> you really don't get it, Dustin. You really don't. No, no, that'd still be gross. Well, do one say and let part of them go in your pussy. So I can smell it. Ah, oh, 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 I'm gonna be sick. Wear them till wear them till Monday and mail them to me first thing Monday. That'd be gross to wear them till Monday, though. I don't know why Judicai does that, but Mayor Rose Russo. I'm a wife, mother, and teacher. Kids are our future, our hope, and our dreams. They deserve our best. I agree. I teach middle school, and my students are still young and vulnerable, even if they don't think so. Absolutely. One pedophile at a time, I'm, hope, I'm hoping to make a difference. Right? And who did she, she bust? Just Dustin. When I say just Dustin, it's already, it's already pretty big, you know? Busting Dustin McFedridge is pretty awesome. And Nick's so big. That's his thing. Okay, 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 okay. So, when you look at it first, uh, you think, um, mail it yourself. What do you, I had to do some car. I had to fall. I went. I want to do mine. Oh yeah, when I do mine, like I had to fold clothes and take care of them. I went as fast as I could so I couldn't come back and talk to you. When I do mine too, how can I? I don't know. Mail yourself here. <laughs> Send yourself via FedEx. <laughs> That would be the weirdest package to deliver. And I can just see like the, the deliverer, like, oh, I have to deliver a little girl to some weird pervert. No problem there. Okay. And they say, uh, that'd be real weird on Monday. Okay, baby, when are you going to take them off? When I get dressed, like always. When will that be? Tom morning, like always. Go to the bathroom now and peel your panties in between your pussy lips. Ah, oh, this is gross. Are you near a blue mailbox? Where will you send your panties from? I got to find a mailbox. Where will you get two stamps? Mom's got some in her desk. <laughs> Do you live in a house or apartment? Is there an apartment near you? He really wants those fucking panties, you know, when he wants her to mail them. That is stupid. Somebody you never... That's a weird fetish to have, like a random girl sending panties. Like, that shit's gonna be full of STD. Like, well, not, not from the Laura, but let's say you ask that from a random girl. The kind of girl that would send panties through the mail is the kind of girl like the kind of girl that would do it for real and send her panties to you through the mail is the kind of girl that is also full of stds or stis rather now we have a dress but that's not what i wanted to show a little before just a bit before he talks about cerulean studio blah 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 did you mail me what you were supposed to? all right all right well do it in the morning you with the pair you got on in the morning. I can't wait to have them. 
Okay. I love you, my sweet little princess baby girl. No. But this is the part that is really funny. And it gets a little bit weird and quite scary. And the part that's going to follow, it's both funny but really, really scary. It's, it's just weird. Like, the reason he asked for her, her to mail something to him, to him, of course, he, he really wants the penalty, but it's also a way to prove that she's real. And now he goes on a weird, paranoid tangent here. You're wonderful. You never want to use you. Never want to lose you, ether. Ether. Kiss. Kiss like Lorne, you know? Do you have an ID card? Kiss. What's that? A card with that has your name? Social security number, address, and such. Nope. Ah, uh, okay. Well, can I have your social security number? Uh oh, that is starting to look like, like some ID theft. But that's his way, I think, to check that she's real. But look at what's followed. It's even weirder. Like the girl must have been like, "What the fuck? What kind of guy ask like a girl like he's he's trying to date? What kind of guy, girl guy is gonna ask her for her social security number? What's that? You know when you take the big yearly test and they tell you to put it on the test." They put big numbers on the board for us to copy. Yeah, what is he talking about a year, yearly test? What is he talking about? I think he's referring to the taxes there. <laughs> I think he's referring like, we know when you do your taxes, you have to pay your social insurance number, like your social security number. I think that's what he's referring to here. Like, what do you mean the big yearly test? Like, of course, the first thing you think about is a medical. And I don't think you have to put your insurance number on the medical test. I've never had to. Unless you have like, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. They put numbers on the boards for us to copy. She's referring to, you know, the eye test, which is, <laughs> I think, I really think the only, only place I've ever used my social insurance number or social security. Oh, wait a minute. Dustin McFedrish is, um, He's unemployed. He's on social disability. That I remember that from the show. So maybe, oh, I know, I know, I know. Dustin has several palsy. So every year he has to take a test to be eligible for social security. You know, to show that he's um, unemployable. But in my mind, he's not un unemployable. He could have a job, okay? He's able to think. He's able to, to talk at least a little bit normally. There's no reason he couldn't be like tech support or computer stuff. Maybe not an assembly line, but... You could do like something with his life. Plenty of people are like they're in, people are in, in well wheelchair now, and they're they're lawyers, and that's great. Or even doctors, and that's great. And there's no reason Dustin couldn't have a job if he didn't want to. So that's what that's probably what he's referring to. Like every year, I have to take a test to see if I'm still disabled, so I can receive my social disability. That's what he's referring to. But of course, the girl doesn't have that because she's not disabled. So that's pretty weird. Like. That's a bit egocentric all here. He really thinks that everything's, everything revolves around him. Like He thinks that everyone has to take that test. Like Every year you have to go to take a test to see if you can work. Like I don't need to do that. I know I can work already. And you probably could too, Dustin. But anyway, what is yours? <laughs> Why would you ask that? You fucking weirdo. It's not like they just met. They had been talking like that's 10, 14. And they start talking on September 30. So for two weeks. And you ask what your social security number. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to send you my social security, Dustin. Like that's pretty weird. And again, I do believe, I do believe, um, uh, I do believe he was trying to prove she was real. Like, I don't know. I he would do that. He would do. He would go, like, to see the government and he would like to say, what's the name of the girl with that social security number? Maybe that's what he plans to do because, honestly, uh, unless he, he start asking for a picture of her passport, like, <laughs> it, get, it gets there. Let's go now. What is yours? I don't know. I don't remember. Can you find out for me? Not know how. Um, your mom might have your social security card in her purse. In her purse. In her purse. Oh, she'd be mad if I got into her purse. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you can find your birth certificate. And she's like 13. Like, what kind of, what lady is she? Like, what kind of kid at 13 years old gives a, she's a 13. What kind of kid at 13 gives a shit about their birth certificate? I didn't care. I started caring about my birth certificate when I was like 25 because I wanted a passport. Passport. <laughs> that is so fucking weird.
<laughs> go get your birth certificate. Like, mm, not know where that is. Um, ask her if you can see your birth certificate. Certif, certif, certificate. Like, hey mom, I need my birth certificate. Why? Uh, some pervert on the internet wants to know if I'm for real. <laughs> and I don't think, is there, do you have a social uh, security number on the birth certificate? Like in Canada, you don't. In Canada, you don't have the, if I show you, Canada birth certificate. I guess it's a proof that she exists, but there's no, uh, this is what it looks like in the birth uh, Canada. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you don't have real, oh, you do have, wow. Wow, I didn't know you did have, but that's not a social security number, is it? Petition to eliminate gender on Canadian birth certificate. That is so dumb. You have the date of birth, I don't know, the year. You have the social security. Well, I learned something today. No, it's a registration number, actually. It's a registration number. You don't have the social security number on it. But I guess for him, it's better than nothing. Oh, we can find, you can ask, I can try. It's a form like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I, hope, I wish he had written his own social security number on it. It would have been funny. What is your social security, security number? Oh, okay. That way, and that is the most pooky line ever said of all time. That way, if I lose you on your 18th birthday, I can pay 15 bucks to track you down. Oh! Oh, that is gross. Oh. That just punched me in the stomach there. Oh, that is the spookiest line I've... This is fucking scary. This is really, really scary. Like, I'm gonna go online and track you down. Like, what a fucking asshole. When you read that, this guy's a fucking creep and a maniac and he deserves a lifetime in jail, just like Lauren. Just for that one line. Forget the rest of the bullshit he said. That one line is creepy as hell. You can't how you do that. Websites, when you move, it's tied to that number. And when you get your license, it will be on your license. Oh, I've never heard of that. Well, you're young. It's nothing you need to know yet, but I'll educate you. Like you will give her a class, like a, how to fill your taxes, how to how to work the government. Like, okay, now today we're gonna learn about immigration statuses. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm glad. I'll. I ask you, and you answer. You don't think I'm a baby? Nope. Till you die, you're always learning. Yeah, that's what Harry says. Like she likes Harry Potter. Okay, cool. Ain't that neat about the number. Yeah, I don't want to lose you ever. Mine is zero, 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 zero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she fucking lying, you piece of shit. Cool, please don't give no one that because they can ruin my life with it. Okay, how could they do that? Get credit cards with it or make fake ID. Which is why I was asking for your social security number like I could ruin your life. What a fucking dumbass. Oh, that's not right. Well, I wanted to give it to you so you can find me and so you know I mean what I say is for real. Cool, I'm glad because I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I want you to live with me. You can do my co my cooking and my laundry. <laughs> I'm sex crazy though. Can you deal with me wanting sex a lot? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with wanting sex a lot. But with a little kid, a 13-year-old girl, fuck you, dude. <laughs> this is some Lorne level of shit here. But Lorne is a bit more perverted the way he speaks. That makes it funnier when it's Lorne. When it's Dustin, it's too direct. Like, I wish Dustin says, uh, Mr. Penis is hungry for love. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and then he says, will you wear outfits for me? Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But to a 13-year-old girl, like like a schoolgirl outfit or think naughty Halloween outfit. Okay, let me let me check what it is. I'm curious now. Stop writing to me for fuck's sake. Sorry about that. Okay, okay, I get, I get the idea now. Okay. If you want me to, like Halloween. Well, I don't want to force you to do stuff. Like, you couldn't, motherfucker. <laughs> She's faster, stronger than you. All she has to do is stay one cane away, one cane length away from you, and there's nothing you can do about it. 
Dressing up for Halloween is way cool. What will you dress as this year? I was thinking about a ghost. Her name is Ghost for Reels. Cool, you have to show me pics. Like now he's forcing her to show him pics. You gonna share your candy with me? <laughs> like, it's not like I can go and get my own candy. First, I'm too old, and second, I have cerebral palsy, so it would take me like five hours to do three houses. You gonna share your candy with me? Like, oh, fucking go buy some at the fucking star. <laughs> and then he said, one of the funniest lines in the history of the show. Yeah, I can't wait to get your cherry dog. Why is everyone so perverted in Kentucky? <laughs> My God. Everyone is a fucking psychomaniac in that fucking state. It's not like a crazy state. But he wasn't even from Kentucky. He was like from Tennessee, I think. I think he was from Tennessee. What's going on with Tennessee? Like, is it the official perverted state? Like, this is where all the perverts hang out. <laughs> said that before and you can tell even the decoy was grossed out and that's a teacher okay that's a girl that teaches little kid in middle school and she probably teaches to kids around the age of 13 herself now she can just imagine like she has her class and you know you're a teacher and if you're in a good class you love your class you love your students you just imagine that sick fuck talking to one of your st students so she must be really mad right now and that's why she says yeah you said that before instead of saying like i can't wait <laughs> Me, me neither. I want you. I want to because I love you. I love you. Well, me being your first is a special gift that means a lot to me and I will always treasure that gift. <laughs> that is so... I don't know. Tried. Like, you're such a wonderful gift. Oh, what fucking asshole. Well, be together for every night. Like he's every girl little dream. Like every girl wants to be with him. Forget the disability. Look at his face. Look at his overweight. Look at the way he look. Fucking ugly piece of shit. And I'm not even like the disability has nothing to do with it. Look at how ugly he is. This fat fucking loser, pervert loser. Like let's look at a picture of him. You'll see what I mean. Look at that fucker. Well, I can go at you and he's ugly as fuck. He's even uglier than this. Okay, maybe not, but look at that thing. Like, he's just ugly. What do you want me to say about it? He looks like his face was hit by a hammer. Oh, the nose is too big. We're going to break it a couple of times. And there's nothing wrong with being ugly, but then you're hitting on the girl and you say shit like that. You hit on the girl and you said, well, me being your first... I'm going to read it in his voice and then with his picture. Well, me being your first is special, and that's a gift I'm always going to treasure, sir. <laughs> and more recently, he's, he's, he's still ugly. Like, I know he can't stand straight, so I won't make fun of that. But the way he is, big, he's overweight, he's fat, and <laughs> he's fucking retarded. And don't I'm not making fun of his illness, because people with cerebral palsy are not necessarily mentally challenged, I should say. He's really stupid. Like, just because someone has an illness, like a disability, doesn't make them stupid. I know plenty of people with disability that are very smart. Not Dustin. He's, he's, Dustin has zero redeeming qualities. Everything about him is fucked up. He's a fucking... Look at how he's smiling. Like, I'm a poor guy. He's ugly as fuck. And he says shit like that. Unless you decide otherwise or your parents get me in trouble. The key, the key thing here is if you want me to be with you, you, don't, don't, you know, your parents must not catch me. If you catch me, I won't be able to see you. Hard to hide that for four and a half years. I'm hoping when you're 16, you get a car and you can come and stay when you want to. Yeah, that would be so cool. I think it'd be fun too. Yeah, only think I can't take you to your prom. <laughs> it's already like... <laughs> Fuck you, dude. She didn't. She hasn't even started high school. Like, what the fuck? He's already talking about that, too. It's not like the prom is in like three months. It's in like four and a half years. Why not? I'll be too old. No, you're not old, Nana's old. I'll be thirty or thirty-one, and I should Won't let no one over twenty-one escort someone. And they, okay. Oh, then I won't go. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, you can go with someone, but after the prom, I get you. 
Don, like like Lauren, like Lauren, you know. I just just missing the roses. Yeah, hey, I'll get us a ring and get you drunk. Ah, oh, that's illegal. She's eighteen. You're gonna get drunk too. Not as bad as you. What a fucking sick piece of shit. Well, when I know I have you for two nights in a row, I'll let you get drunk alone as you agree. As long as you agree that I can have my way with you. Ah, oh, the way he says it. That's like, Lauren, I don't want to get you pregnant. Like, I can have my way with you. Look at this guy. I'm going to have my way with you, girl. As long as I get my way with you and you let me do my stuff to you for two nights. You sick, perverted asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you, you pedophile shit. Like, there's no way. If you read the chat log, like, if you pleaded not guilty and you go to trial and you read the chat log, the jury would be like, ah, oh, not for real. Ah, oh, I didn't sign up for this. I want to be excused from jury duty. Ah, oh. you know in a movie when a man and a woman get drunk together? And then after the woman says, you took advantage of me. Oh, that's mean. I'm not mean. I met a girl from Yahoo. She came over and wanted to get drunk. She drunk more than me. She started touching. So did I. And she pulled my dick out of my pants. So that tells me she wants what? Sex, I think, right? Yeah, next day in four weeks after I talked to her, she said I took advantage of her. Yeah. Oh, that's so mean. And she lies too. Well, the way I see it, and to me, it's like, hey, you wanted it. I got what I want, so fuck it. I don't have to hear you, bitch. See, I want a romantic guy. A lot of tact here. Dustin is a very tactful person, you know. <laughs> I don't have to hear you, bitch. See, and you know that's just not the way it happened. Like, he does mention to Chris that he has been in trouble before. Like, have you ever been in trouble before? Well, honestly, yeah, I met a girl and her parent. I apologize. And Chris, how did you plead guilty? No, I apologize over the phone. Like, her father was a cop. I apologize over the phone and that was it. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I'm not sure if you're talking about her, but fuck you. Yeah, she was 19, two kids and a drug problem. <laughs> oh. That's sad, actually. Poor kids. The woman made her decision, so fuck her. But the two kids, you know what's going to happen to them. You know what future they have. Laura, you are so sweet and special. You're so special. You're sweet, good to me, and accept me for me. You're the best. I love you. The way I feel for you, you are smart, but still learning. And you'll let me teach you and try, as I said. And that makes any man happy. Yeah, I want to make you happy because we are going to be together forever. Imagine the teacher writing that. And I'm sure the teacher at that moment imagined that she was one of her students. And if you look at statistics, if she has a class of 30 students, chances are overwhelming that at least one of them got into that kind of stuff. Like he was molested repeatedly by an adult. If you, if you look at statistics about kids and child abuse, that happens a lot. And if there are 30, 30 students in the class, it's very probable that at least one was sexually abused in such a manner. So this is not just fiction. That kind of shit really happens. And then Dustin is not satisfied by that. He goes, would you ever try a threesome? What's that? Two guys and a girl or one guy and two girls have sex together at the same time. Ah, that's not enough. And that's a key thing with perverts. It's never enough. You know, their fantasies grow and grow and grow and grow. There's an escalation, but I'll talk about that later. If you was ever attracted to a guy, I'd rather us have a threesome than you cheat on me. But I would expect you to let another woman join us soon too. What kind of woman is going to join them? Like, hey, I'm disabled and I'm having sex with my 13-year-old girlfriend. You want to have sex with us? Like, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, of course, such a perverted woman exists. There are some very, very perverted women. So, of course, a woman like that would exist. That would have sex with a kid. Like, you don't associate predators with kids. With women, I mean. Like, you don't assume that women are going to abuse children. But, you know, it happens anyway. Especially in little girls. Like, when I studied, like, uh, I did study, like, sexual uh, predators and all that. Because it, it was part of the, the curriculum when I studied psychology. And you don't expect a woman to be, like, abusing children, but it happens a lot. It happens more than men. Did you know that? Well, no, that's not true. More women than men abuse children, but not sexually. But still, the number of female sexual abuse is high. So my next, my next reflex was, okay, but females must abuse boys, you know, young men. Did, did, like, already lesbian, it's not exactly the same as homosexuality men. Like, men, it's completely different. Lesbian, lesbian, or lesbian, I don't know how to say it. Fucking, but are very different than men, that the relationship, the way it works, it's it's very different different dynamics. So I'm saying there's no way an older woman is going to abuse a young girl. That's not how it works. 
But apparently, yeah, it happens. There are some older women that are going to abuse young girls. And the typical exam, uh, example, I'm not saying it's always the case, but the typical example is a, man, is a woman that was molested herself. And now she molests little girls, like a way to compensate for her own sexual abuse. So that does happen. I was going to say it's not possible that a woman would join them. But it is, actually. But it's very unlikely. That's a weird, fucked up fantasy here. Like, this guy is fucked up. I would say he's at least 20% as fucked up as Lauren. I didn't know that about Dustin. Did you know that? Well, I'm not a cheater, but it ain't cheating if both of you are participating. Yeah. Fuck. Being a decoy is tough. Imagine you're the decoy here. Right? Imagine you're the decoy with Lauren. But that is tougher, like, to endure that. Ah, oh, at some point, I... I want you to have sex with a woman and me to be there. I don't like girls like that, though. You may at some point. You know the poster of guy that stare at you all day and think damn he's cute? Oh, yeah. Well, have you ever caught yourself looking at a girl that way? Nope. You will one day. Oh, okay. No, she might not. Well, you might think, yeah, the girl is cute, but you won't think I'm going to have sex with a girl. I can admit that some guys are good looking. Doesn't mean I want to have sex with guys, okay? This guy is fucked up. Like, I would say this guy, probably because of his disability, that helped him develop probably some sick fantasies. Probably, probably became, um, how can I say? Look, can I say something not politically correct? Okay, something wrong, something that's going to haunt, haunt me. But I'm going to say it anyway. I know one guy with cerebral palsy and he's a big asshole, okay? So when people see him walking in the, let's say we have a family reunion at Christmas, and when people see him walking with the canes, and he has two canes, they're like, oh, poor guy, he's disabled, poor guy, he must be a nice guy. But no, the guy is a huge asshole, like he trips people over. He takes like, let's say he goes to a buffet, like a, we have a family little buffet for Christmas, and there's like... For example, uh, some smoked sal salmon, something sal salmon, something rare, something that we don't have much of. The guy takes his all, like he goes for it because he's disabled, and he takes all of it. And if I complain about it, he say, "Well, he's disabled. He's not lucky in life, and all that." Blah blah blah. And he never has to work. He spends the day like on his game, and never does anything. Never attempts to do anything. I'm not saying that all disabled people are assholes. I'm, I'm even saying that most of them aren't, or probably aren't. But the one guy in my family with cerebral palsy is a huge fucking asshole. And he, he's really mean, and no matter what he does, he's never blamed of anything. Like, he gets drunk, and he groped one of my uh, aunt one day. A young aunt, like, she was like 35, 38. And he groped her, and everybody said, it's not a big deal, he's disabled, blah, blah, blah. If I do that, I'm probably gonna get arrested. And rightfully so, because it's, it's sexual assault. Like, you, you grab the, the boob of a girl unsolicited, like a with people around, and not as, a, not as a prank, like, I'm not sure what kind of prank you can do, like, I'm gonna grab your boobs as a prank, I'm not sure it's a real prank, but no, he was really going for it, like, going to, to, to grope her, and the girl didn't even slap him, like, she felt bad, poor guy, he's disabled, so when I look at Dustin, even though he's paralyzed, this is a fucking asshole, and he can't go fuck himself, okay, so when he says, like, about that, uh, when he talks about it, you will one day, he's just being an asshole, you don't know that, Dustin, and what I wanted to say, you know, he's an asshole. Of course, the personality is going to be a big turnoff in addition to the, to the, to the physique, I should say. Let, let's say you're an asshole, but you're good looking. You can still get girls easily. Let's say you're not that great looking, but you're like very charismatic. You can get girls easily. It's very easy, actually, to get girls in your bed. But Dustin can't do that because he's an asshole and he's disabled and he has no money. So that creates some kind of frustration sexually for him big, big sexual frustration. And I'm guessing that over time, he developed that frustration onto homosexuality, meaning that suddenly he has no problem fucking guys. He's not gay. It's like in jail, I guess. Like He, he takes what he can, I guess. He's not gay, but he could, he could live as a gay man. He's not exactly bi. That's not exactly the definition of bisexuality. But whatever. That means you're attracted to them. Did you learn something about yourself? Do you have to undress in gym in the locker room? That's an interesting question. I'm going to continue, actually. 